Hey there everyone, I am Arindam and in this video, I am going to show you how you can build your own MCP server from scratch. In the last video, I have shown you what is MCP and how you can use it on your client side. So in this video, I will see how you can create your custom server and you can also use it on your client as well. For the building of this, I will be using OpenAI Agents SDK and for the LLM part, I will be using Navius AI Studio models. So they have a lot of models and I will be using the models that has function calling capabilities as I have also shared in the previous video as well. For that, let's go to our VS code. So here I have already created a, a MCP server that sends an email with SMTP. So if you have previously worked with SMTP, you know how it works. So I will not be going into the deeper side of how M SMTP works, but I will be explaining you how you can build your MCP server with the simplest example. First, we are just importing all those necessary modules. Next, we are initializing the MCP server, which is we are using that fast MCP method for that. Next, we are using the global variables. And then here comes the important part. This is the tool that the LLM will be using while you know working with this server. So first tool is you know configure the mail. And you know these are the basic steps, uh, just con configuration part. Next, this is the main function that we will be using today, which is send email function, which just takes the receiver email subject body and it sends a mail. So here you can see that we are just logging into the SMTP server and then we are just sending the message with the message content that we are doing. and. We are just returning a success uh, message which is true and this is a JSON that we are returning and in case it has some issues you just send that uh, success false. So take a look at this. We are using transport equals to stdio which means we are using that stdio server. So in general there are two types of server that we can use. One is stdio servers that you can think you know uh, running locally to your system. Another way is HTTP over SSC servers that runs remotely with which you can connect to the server via URL. For this example, I will be using HTDIO servers. So that's why I'm mentioning that uh, transport equals to HTDIO. If you are using uh, another approach, you can just mention that transport equals to SSC and that will work. And that's it. Our MCP server is done. Sounds easy, right? Yeah, this is uh, pretty easy. It's, it's not that tough to, you know, build your MCP server. And this is a simple example that I have shown. You can build uh, any complex example with your favorite tools that you want to create MCP servers of. Now, for the testing part, let's just create a simple client uh, where we can just test this MCP server. And we can then uh, show that, okay, our MCP server is working as well. So for that, as I've also shown in the previous video, I'm just importing the modules here and loading the environment. Then one thing to take a note here, you have to mention the path where this uh, server is located. And next uh, I have added the UV path where your UV is located. And then uh, mentioning the model name that I have already done in the previous video as well and the base URL. And next up, the thing you needed is the Google pass key. So you can just get your Google pass key for the authentication part and you can just uh, add it in the env section next up we will create the email agent and these are the basic things i have also shown in the previous video that uh, you can create the mcp servers like this and we're just uh, configuring the model of navius that we are using here and then here in the main section we are uh, using that same mcp server studio method and in the params just focus on this Last time we just copy pasted from a GitHub uh, repository, but this time in the in the command we are uh, mentioning the UV path and the args as this uh, like the directory uh, and the MCP path run and the server name that you have. For example, for this I have that MCP server.py. You can change it according to the file name that you have, and we are just mentioning this as MCP server, and then we are just passing this to this function that we have created previously and it will do everything for us. So for example, here you can see that configure, uh, this is the sample message that I have done. Uh, configure with the sender name or in the MCP agent and this is my mail and sending with that pass key and sending the email to studio one, uh, which is my agency. And this is the subject and this is the body that I'm sending and 
then we are just running this uh, with runner.run and if you don't know how to use OpenAI agent SDK, I have already created a video around that I will uh, link that in the description you can check that out and finally we will just run this uh, agent and that's it that's simple it is so now let's see this in action let me open my terminal now we need to add MCP CLI so let's just add this and it will add that for you and let's just clear the terminal now all we have to do is just running the MCP client so now let's see hold that for a second so you can see that it is processing the request and you can see that it is uh, calling the tool request let's wait for a few seconds till it does the work and awesome it has sent the email and as you can see here uh, an email is sent to the specified recipient with the given subject and body so now let's go to our email client and see if it really worked or not so as you can see here here is the mail and this is working you can see that zero minutes ago and we have successfully sent the mail via our agent with using our mcp client and server that we just created now you understand how easy it is to create your own mcp server and now i hope you can easily create more mcp server based on your needs so let me know what mcp tools you are building for your next project and thanks a lot for watching this video till the end and i will see you in the next video Bye.